Yes, you better look into your African ancestors said about health and wellness and these, you know, and delve into that stuff. Then with that knowledge, you apply that into your life through actions every single day to cut harmful things that's bad for you out your life that's self-destructive and put better things for your body, healthier things from your body. And then, you know, begin to exercise and stay consistent through your actions, discipline. And you will achieve whatever that goal was. To lose weight, you will achieve that. That's how you do it. You want to keep it off, you got to stay consistent about what you've done to keep it off. And don't go backwards. You can enjoy your life, but don't go backwards. Then you're going to be fighting back like fuck. You can do it though, you know. Stuff happens, you know. You get busy. But if you notice that, like, oh, wait a minute, I gained a little bit extra weight. That ain't shit. You can, you can fix it. Because you know the formula. You've done it before. And you will do it again. If that's what you want to achieve. No worries. So. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Back to what I was saying about giving something up. Now, giving something up, that could be a habit, that could be a thought, basis, ideology, that could be a belief, that could be giving up something you was taught, giving it up in order to achieve what you truly desire, if you seek knowledge of self. You want to have knowledge of the world too, but that's all self-knowledge as well. So, proper utilization of the knowledge and wisdom to improve your life and the life of others around you. And if you're called to do righteous work, do the righteous work in your own lane you're called to do. And you're going to be alright. Now you're actually living through your actions in your work living out your higher purpose while you're on earth. Getting the work done, as they call it. But if you're not on that level of operation, that's fine. Don't get scared. Don't stop. Don't get scared because misinformation, disinformation. Don't get scared if you start learning about how many enemies you got. Don't get scared about none of this stuff. You know, run self checks and balances often. All progression you made, checks and balances. See where you're at, see what you've been doing. Checks and balances. I don't care if you just started or been doing it for a while. Checks and balances. Make sure, you know, stuff don't slip in. You know, you start doing things you used to do that ain't cool that you thought you purged yourself and deprogrammed yourself. That's backsliding or straying off the path, going backwards. But if you notice that, okay, you notice that. Now you got an understanding of that. So next is put it in your mind, you're going to change that. Then have your actions line up with your, your mind or your thoughts in your mind and begin immediately, as soon as you can begin to do the necessary steps to turn it around and go back in the right direction. My example. Quick example. I met a brother from the East Coast boasting and bragging. I'm not disrespecting the East Coast. I just live on the West Coast. He came out here. He's from the East Coast. None of that East Coast, West Coast, and ain't nobody better than this. We got more, ain't none of that bullshit going on with this. Listen to the fucking story. Look, he came out from the East Coast, boasting and bragging. He's raised into the knowledge and wisdom and understanding. He's, this is what I've been raised since birth. And I don't contest that. I don't say he hasn't been raised in the knowledge and wisdom and understanding on the East Coast since birth 
But what happened to this man is he came out to California, started hanging out with the gangbangers for the last few years of his life, and began to forget all about being raised in knowledge and wisdom over standing. Start doing with what the gangsters do out here, you know, hanging out, doing their thing, veering off your life path. Because if you're blessed with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you have responsibility, and that scares the fuck out of people. Taking responsibility for what the fuck you know, you must take responsibility for that. What I'm saying is, he ended up out here, and he wasn't surrounded by that knowledge and wisdom understanding, and by that energy, by, you know what I mean, staying, staying on the path you supposed to, your life path, you know? He didn't have that surrounding, that motivation, you know? And he didn't have it strong enough within himself to resist being around certain type of people and then becoming like them, which is easy for us to do. You know, easy for us to do. For maybe some people, not so easy. But for others, yeah, it's easy to do. But if you run a self-check and you notice that, and somebody told you that, and you notice that's the truth. Because I told that man what I need to tell him. It's up to him now to take that knowledge of wisdom that he already know. Run a self-check and start fixing some shit in his motherfucking life and get back on his right life path. You know? Have powerful names. Got African names. But the only thing that you're talking about and the only music that you're playing is on that hood shit. Okay. So, if you want to grow, there's always something you got to X out your life, something you got to give up, something that you've been doing, something that you've been saying, something that you've been, you know what I mean, watching, I don't know. It's something you got to give up that was harmful for you or not beneficial for your life growth in order to achieve your life higher purpose but you ain't you ain't giving up shit that ain't nothing you ain't giving up nothing that ain't it's just fucking baggage okay that's all the fuck you giving up is baggage you ain't giving up shit fucking baggage cuz when you move in the right direction you will be given You will be given things just for giving up and doing what you're supposed to be doing in order to help you through life and to help you move forward of what you done started. You know? Yeah, like giving up something like um that cracker with the blue eyes, long hair. What's his name? He's a motherfucking devil. Oh, I remember. Jesus. If you was blessed in the knowledge and wisdom over standing at your front door. The spirit has called your ass. And you tiptoeing around the tulips going back and forth learning about this but still you into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to come a time where you got to choose sides eventually. Choosing sides is either embracing the truth about you, and the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the African science, the comedic sciences. I say sciences with an S. It's everything it stems from us. Anyway, you can't get into African spirituality and say you are really being spiritual. 
if you want to still hold on to a, a mythological character that never existed, it's a fairy fucking tale. You cannot hold on to the bullshit and hold on to the truth with your other hand. If you expect to grow past the level you're on, you have to get in tune with your divine judgment. Get in tune with your spirit guides. Have them help you lead you in the right direction. Trust your intuition because it will come up and it will come there in your life. And if you can choose to ignore it or you can choose to embrace it when it comes into your life. And it might have to come into your life a couple times trying to get you to see this. Like, hey, 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 wait a minute. We've been showing you this. You can choose to acknowledge it, recognize it, embrace it, apply it to your life. Use it to help with your actions and your thoughts and your movements. Or you can disregard it, ignore it, act like it never fucking happened, and go along with something you always just been taught by the cave cracker. And all his friends. You know? You gotta give some things up in order to unlock a new door for you to walk into. But it's a wonderful door if you wanna walk into it from my personal experience. Nothing wrong with it. Another thing. When you're diving into the knowledge and the wisdom. And now you're learning about, you know, your melanated brothers and sisters all around the world. And the conditions they live in and everything else. And you may study some of their great, you know, prophets, teachers, or warriors who fought oppression or something like that, you know. And you want to extend that. That African love, you are you want to extend that revolutionary love, or you want to extend that melanated love to them, to everyone. That's a mistake, sadly to say, because the world has been under tyranny and oppression, and a lot of self-hate, a lot of um, fussing, fighting, and programming has been done by the enemy, the cave beast, and all his friends to keep us confused, keep us um, with fucked up thought processes and ideologies and views upon our own brothers and sisters where some, or maybe could be a lot, you know, just being real, of our brothers and sisters, our melanated beings, they don't have no knowledge of self. They've been groomed and raised in this cave by this cave beast in many different ways through their education, through their religion, through their through their fucking poison that they infected throughout the minds of the earth. So, if you're dealing with a person who has no knowledge of self, who has who adopted the ways of the European cave beast, he is not your brother and sister. I'm sorry. He may look like it from the outside. May have some melanin. Yes. But it's about his spirit, her spirit, the spirit that animated that flesh. What is that spirit about? What is that energy they cultivate? What are their thoughts and views? And if their thoughts and views are just words, just because they want to say some shit because they're around you, or it's really who they are, what they live every single day. It's a difference, you know. So you can't extend your divine love, respect, try to build and cultivate with every melanated or black person or derivative of African descent that you see. You know? Because it depends on that being. Who are they? It ain't for every motherfucking body. Many are called fewer chosen.